Yes, yes, people, welcome back to another video, and it is an absolute disaster from Manchester City. City playing Sporting in the Champions League uh, last night, and it was going well, to be fair, at the start. Do you know what I mean? It's going to go straight away in the first uh, four minutes or so. Full forward and great strike. Um, and we're basically on top for a lot of it. Um, but the early warning signs were definitely there. Um, we have this kind of thing at the football club right now where counter-attacks kill us. We've had it for a few years, to be fair, but I think this season especially, it seems to be hurting us a lot more. They seem to be outnumbering our defence. Now, I don't know whether that's because we're playing that Rico Lewis who pushes more forward or if it's more so because we, we do just the back three in general isn't really working out for counter-attacks. Um, the commitment <laughs> going forward is there and we looked really good on the ball and Sporting didn't really look like they wanted to show up. They had a great chance... Um, through, which was chipped at Edison, but um, he did really well with that. But all in all, the more you can have all the possession in the world, this what do you know I mean? You can have all the possession in the world, and that's fine, but it's taking your chances. And City did not take their chances yesterday. We had a lot of the ball, we created a lot, and nothing was really working out for us. Um, and then obviously, they scored an equalizer going into the second half, and it just killed us, it absolutely killed us. I think within 40 seconds of the restart was basically done. Uh, we're 2-1 down rapid. Uh, obviously, they had a penalty. I don't. I, I can't fault any of the penalty shouts that they had. I think our penalty, to be fair, that uh, we got, which Haaland ended up missing later on. I think that was probably the softer of the lot with the weird handball, which bounced up. Um, it was very close, but it is what it is. The UEFA rules are a lot more lenient to handball as opposed to the Premier League rules. Um, so that went all right for us. You know I mean, that was a lifeline for us back in the game. They scored two great goals to make them at 2-1. And then obviously we missed, uh, they scored again to make it 3-1. Um, and then we missed a penalty, which could have brought the game back. Could have brought the game back. But the same thing was happening. If you take out the two penalty claims, uh, the two penalty shouts that they had, uh, the same thing was happening, even with their two goals, is them counter-attacks absolutely killing us. Um, now, I know that obviously we, we've... Uh, threw in people like Simpson Pusse in there and stuff like that. Um, I know people laugh about that. Mm, holy. Um, but the whole mixed squad, obviously John Stones, Ruben Diaz weren't available for the game. Uh, I know that Nathan Ake started on the bench. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a mixed side at the moment. And now that's three games on the bounce under Pep that we've lost, which is, to be fair, an anomaly in the Pep project. Uh, we've been very blessed with the fact that we don't really see that quite often, but um, we have had well, we are having four away games on the bounce, which is horrendous, horrendous really. It's not good for us. It's not good for the way that the game was going either, because we generally looked really good at the start. But that second half, whatever Ruben Amarim give that team in that second half, give me some of that, because that was. He must have had a mental half-time team top that because that side came out of that second half. Obviously, the goal does help that they got straight away, but they came out of that second half and looked like they proper wanted to play. The first, the first bit of so was just kind of them sitting back and counter attacks was picking up on a lot of loose balls from them. Uh, but like I say, it does leave us uh, with another loss. Um, obviously, we've had back to back to back. Like I said, then uh, Spurs. Uh, Bournemouth and then this but then we've got Brighton this weekend Brighton this weekend is no easy task we've seen how good Brighton can be they're doing well in the Premier League again this year it's <laughs> it's a bit shaky it's a bit shaky but um, you've just got to back that this will turn around at some point now I know that people say like that uh, you never want to be the person coming off the back of the, I mean the team facing them when they're off the back of losses like this but I'm hoping the team can uh, feel this loss and uh, proper get back into winning ways. This isn't. I know that we always say first half of the season, City, uh, but to be fair, I think I do think we've had a good first half of the season uh, by Bournemouth. Do you know what I mean? And, and I do think we've had a good first half of the season this year uh, so far. Anyway, uh, we've just kind of fell off a little bit right now, and I want us to pick that back up rapid because we can't really be losing any more points uh, to Liverpool in the Premier League, and we don't want to be losing any more Champions League games. We want to keep. Uh, that going obviously we had a draw against Inter now we've lost against Sporting and to be fair the Sporting game when you look at it um, a lot of people were saying in our live stream that we did um, that the Sporting game is no it's no walk in the park um, you've got to look at like uh, the way that they're playing this season they're playing really well and obviously Ruben Amarim leaving it, it give that a bit extra motive for them 
Um, now, there is a game beforehand that I'd have said, yeah, we, we should probably win this. And I think everyone would have said that as City fans. And our history against Sporting as well kind of backs that. But um, it is what it is. It's not uh, the greatest of results and not the greatest of weeks uh, for Man City or as fans. But um, you've got to stay positive and go into the weekend with hopes that we'll be back uh, looking better. Positives from that game. Kevin De Bruyne did get some minutes towards the end, which is always good to see. Uh, Savinho looked really good. Some touches, unreal. Um, I know that um, their defender had... Uh, is it Raujo? Um, had his number for a lot of it, but... Um, uh, Savinho, really good again. I'm glad that he's back in the side, obviously, after his injury scare. Uh, really, really glad to have him back. Um, Kevin De Bruyne being back is absolutely monumental for us. Um, and then, yeah, I think um, we just kind of got to sort out this this counter-attack in defence thing. I don't have the fix myself. That's something that Pep needs to do. We need to kind of protect that back four a little bit more. Now, I know that when you play Gundo, you can throw in Bernardo or Kovacic, you can throw in Bernardo there as well to help out or even Kovacic and Gundo together to help out uh, with that back line. But I just think we're getting done by counter-attacks. Counter-attacks are our kryptonite this season. So... We'll have to wait and see until the weekend, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to what happens against Brighton. Obviously, a difficult side, but uh, we'll see you there. Uh, big ups to everyone. If you haven't already, do us a favour. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. And uh, see you in the next one. See you in a bit.